guys welcome to sunshine foods now all about sense sunshine foods what they say it? it's about healthy nutritional food from Africa or mostly sun-based food but when we think Africa generally we think sun so foods from Africa are usually you know how they say um, uh, tropical fruits or tropical foods that's what we're after so sunshine foods foods from Africa healthy foods welcome on board so my name is John Fido and today I'm gonna to be taking you through some of the really amazing foods that we do have in Africa Nigeria in particular today's food that we're gonna show you it's called the young porridge I'm excited because we're going to take you through cooking yam porridge like you've never seen before and now you can do so much with it now a little bit about yam porridge or a little bit about yam it's a low glycemic in index food when you think carbohydrates you're thinking foods that contain sugar and what does sugar do it really hypes up your energy and allows you to be able to do things but if your energy is low, then you take a bit more, it raises your energy up. But what we tend to do with processed food is the amount of sugar in them is so much that what happens is you eat a little, you want to eat again, and you want to eat again, and you want to eat again. So the more food you eat, the more you're piling on this sugar. And the more that happens, the more you're adding weight. So when you hear low glycemic index, they're talking about Food that gives you energy, but they are not in the quantity that processed food gives. So low glycemic index means this carbohydrate is releasing energy. It's got sugar in it, but it's releasing, releasing the energy, but in very slow quantity. And that's why when you eat carbohydrates that are low glycemic index based, you are actually healthy because you have the energy but they are released in very slow motion and then you can do the things you want to do because remember food is all about energy that's what it is and if your body is going to be useful doing things it needs energy but if you are just eating for the sake of it this is why I mean even I need to remind myself we need to concentrate on the body what does the body need I mean I was chatting with my daughter today and she was talking about taste buds lots of us are so con concerned about our taste buds that we forget what our body really does need so anyway let me cut let me cut this let me cut this I'm gonna take you to the kitchen now and let's start cooking Okay, so we're carrying on with this yam, the main thing in our ingredient today. Yam, and that's a yam to go. And then in addition to yam, we are deliberately adding sweet potato to this yam porridge because of taste. Because sweet potato is really sweet and yam generally comes bland, so you will just blend in with it. Another thing you could add Another thing you could add for sweetener is uh, plantain. So this is just a choice I am making. Generally, yam porridge, people just go with yam and that's it. So these are our ingredients. Um, when we're cooking it, we're going to be adding pepper, which is the scotch bonnet. Um, we'll add um, just maggi for taste, seasoning. And then onions there, again paste, garlic for taste, and then herbs, different types of herbs. All of this will help to make the food taste good. The next big thing for yam porridge is the oil, and that's palm oil. So the main thing here is yam, palm oil, and in our case sweet potato, and of course the rest is just for taste. And then you can now decide, as we are cooking this, what type of protein you want to add to it. In this particular instance, we are going to be using egg, which one we are doing that, I'll show you. We are going to make egg on the side and eat with it. But what some people do, they just put the, um, they put meat in it, beef, some people put fish, 
different types anything that takes your fancy you can actually just to give you that protein taste in your food and so let's carry on with this you start by chopping the yam ready for peeling all i'm doing is just slicing 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 ready for peeling it depends on how you feel about it some people could slice who fit um peel it pack first before slicing or you slice and then peel again this slicing and peeling part is just like uh, potatoes which you're gonna see when i do the other one there it just the only difference with yam and potatoes is yam skin is a lot tougher than potato skin so it can be a pain if, if you don't know what you're doing now remember when you're slicing not to take too much of the flesh Just a little bit on the sides and that's it. Now think about the benefits of yam. Yam is absolutely healthy. If you're thinking healthy food, which is what we think here most times. Um, it's got low glycemic index. And what that means is this food breaks down slowly in your body. So, especially for diabetics, you don't want food you eat to turn to sugar instantly in your body and then you get hungry again the next minute. So that's, what, that's why that is so important. If you eat low glycemic index types of carbohydrates, you're better off. They don't, they don't break down quickly, they are slow, and so you don't get hungry quickly. And when you don't get hungry quickly, the tendency of you trying to eat more food is low. So again, it's another way for people who want to avoid eating too much, like um, obesity issue that's all over the place. So if you eat less or low glycemic index food, you're cutting down on the number of times you want to eat. And that's why processed foods are so unhealthy for us, because the sugar level is so high, and so you eat it and the next minute you want to eat again and you want to eat again and so when you keep doing that you end up eating too much so natural foods things like yam is one of those ones with very low glycemic index sweet potato again is another really healthy food it's very sweet but weirdly enough is um nutritional value is very very high is a lot lot better than the regular white potatoes so when you're thinking how the right things you're thinking about so we carry on with the peeling and i'll show you when i finish okay so once you finish peeling your yam you just wash it and put in the pot two options you can Cut them into little pieces, dice them uh, before washing, or just wash them as they're bigger and then dice once you finish washing. So that's what I'm going for. I'm going to dice it once I finish this washing. And then I'm going to do the same thing with the sweet potatoes. I'll finish cutting it and dice it. So you dice your, yeah. Now remember it's porridge so because it's porridge you want to make this really not too big because if it's too big it would take a really long time to cook um there are so many other ways of cooking yam which i'm sure with time will show you one of my favorite is just straight um plain yam and anything you want to I don't know if we've done a video like that, but if we haven't, we'll do it. You just boil yam, they call it boiled yam, boiled yam and whatever. So it could be boiled yam and stew, boiled yam and egg, boiled yam and anything else that takes your fancy. To me, yam is one of those tuber foods that I really love to, to bring its value out. It's like, as far as I know, potatoes is over 
overhyped if you ask me really really hyped unnecessarily there's so many things that go on with potatoes potato and whatever you name it um fish and potatoes uh, beef and potatoes fries this that they just go on and on but nobody does any of that with yam and yam can't do the same thing exact same maybe the texture is just slightly heavier or slightly harder but it is same same group is a tuba 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 so why can't we do that with yam so that's why i'm definitely sure i'll be bringing more and more different ways of playing with yam you can fry yam as well as fries and eat it with fish or beef or whatever takes your fancy anyway so today is just the porridge yeah okay so you can see what i've done with the diced um diced bits of this yam now if you are african which is one of my biggest thing about african food sunshine foods this is a big message i'm trying to get across to all of us potato is an industry why can we not make yam an industry yeah yam with whatever so that's why all these ideas of cooking with various african foods or foods that come from sun is my big mission in sunshine foods that's our diet so we're ready to start cooking okay so i'm doing the same thing that i did with the yam with the sweet potato oh uh, kind of hard yeah, got that it was a really good size sweet potato I mean the last time I went to Nigeria the sweet potato everywhere and it was so so cheap and you know what really hurts me when you watch the news and hear how hungry people are children are starving and see a poor child looking so sad that really gets to my spirit because when you enter the market in Nigeria, there is food everywhere. So I really don't understand what's causing this problem. And something like sweet potato was so cheap, I didn't even know why. Because, okay, yes, when you go to Nigeria, we're looking at yam now. Yam is expensive in Nigeria. I don't know why as well. Because we have the land and plant it. I saw it everywhere. There was yam everywhere. But when you try buying it, the prices were ridiculously high. Um, I did find somewhere they're trying to export yam. Probably that explains why. So that's fine. My issue is something like sweet potato, which is equally very good for your health, was really cheap everywhere. Portions of it for 100 naira, 200 naira. And then. Um, was shocking that we still have this issue of starvation and all that in Nigeria. It just hurts. But anyway, so sweet potato is here and you can you can do so many things with it, sweet potato as well. Just like you do with regular potatoes, you can do with sweet potatoes. So I'm going to do just what I did with the yam, finish peeling, that's a bit more. But because the textures of these two foods are different, I'll start with the yam and then introduce sweet potato. Just a bit later. I mean, you can also. There's so much. I, I can't even begin to explain the various things you can do with sweet potatoes. Okay, so we've got our yam on, on the fire now. Um, then you put some water. Now, this is one thing I say to everyone who's trying to get into cooking. I call it the science of food. The science of food is understand what is going on. Food is wet. There's water in here. And so when you're trying to cook it, you're releasing that water. The same thing happens with meat and all, you know, it's all about the way nature is. So when we are cooking it, it starts to get softer and get done. Now, if you added too much water in that food, what happens is, it becomes too much water at the end of it because it's releasing its own water and then the water you added and yes there's evaporation that will take place where 
if it's something that you don't cook for too long that evaporation doesn't happen and then the food gets a bit like clogged up with water so don't put too much water when you're cooking that's a big message big big message when we do rice i'll explain the way i understand how you cook rice as well so some foods are dry and what they're trying to do is take the water you're bringing in and some food are wet and so they're trying to release the water they have so with yam in particular you put too much water it's going to get clogged up with water so a little water and that's it cover for now it starts to boil slowly and then I'm going to slowly start in introducing the ingredients we're going to put in but I'm getting the potato ready I'll use this blender just now so I'm not really rinsing it out it's the same similar thing that I used so garlic um, yeah about four or five goes in there onions coming um, I'll throw in some seasoning um, some herbs and spices Rosemary, just some, a bit of basil, and that's it. And then um, I'll throw the seasoning in, and that's it. I'll blend it, and that's gonna go in. Remember to put salt in this yam because you want salt to pick up or you want the yam to pick up the salt. Introducing the sweet potatoes now because they're done really quickly. They're like seconds. They don't even, I don't know how that is the case, but that's what it is with sweet potatoes. They cook really quickly. So now I've added it in and we'll give it a bit of say three minutes to cook as well. Okay, so as it's cooking, now we're gonna introduce the spice. All the mixed spices that we blended now the whole idea remember we've said there's white yam or just boiled yam and this is porridge yam you want this to blend in nicely with the taste of this yam and that's why we've added all this interesting spices and herbs and so this yam takes the taste of it if it was just boiled yam, it would be just yam boiled in the pot and that's it. So that's the big difference you're seeing going on here. So we allow this to simmer and take all of those spices we've added in there. Okay, so now you check to see if your food is ready or it's done. And the best way is just take a fork and dip into either a fork or a knife. See that? It go straight in that shows that it's definitely done 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 stare 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 make sure everything is all going together but you see the beauty i'm so proud of this pot right now is even if it's do you see that even if it's like there's no water on it this pot is absolutely non-stick most pots by now is definitely all clinging and stuck burnt so next thing you want to do you can see how they've all become a big gooey 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 sticking to each other that's the whole idea of the porridge you could now just play a bit of mashing just a little bit not too much because you still want some of your yam to remain as they are just paringly mash a little bit and that's just 
what you want to do and once you've done that it's not like we're not mashing it as in mashed potatoes or whatever we want to create a bit of gooeyness they're sticking together and that's what yam porridge is all about so we're going to now introduce our oil and please remember to always shake your oil because what happens is the kind of like condense and go down and leave some oil up and then some down so we now pour our oil into it is the colorfulness of it again that creates yam porridge at this stage you want to make your heat really low because you're not trying to cook anymore you're just trying to blend so you stay as there and let the oil get everywhere now look at that isn't it so beautiful I mean at this stage again you have choices you can even add more color you could throw in some vegetables something like spinach I want to actually create a little bit that I'll add spinach too so that's your yam porridge done to allow it to just cook a little bit to let that oil just blending well and that's it you can see the greenness we're talking about and that's just it you can see see your yam in between there is our sweet potatoes and if that was planting that could also have been planting in there and then um, food is ready but anyway i'm going to show you a little bit of what i'm, go I'm going to do adding a bit of vegetable to it so this is what I'm doing now. I'm just putting what I've done. I've just washed this bag of baby spinach and I've just added it into the yam and just tear. Remember spinach is so so soft. It's one of those really beautiful soft vegetable that does not require if possible no cooking as well. One of the best ways you can eat spinach is just a salad. Um, it just reminds me of water lily. That's something we have back home that's again underrated. But see how I, all I did was just add it in and stir and that's it. So now we have different colors of this yam porridge. Just gives you options of different ways you can play with it. And it's something you can give to your kids during the day. I mean, breakfast it should be okay lunch is fine dinner is fine remember what we said is no glycemic index and so it's actually bringing more to your body than you can imagine and um, another thing you could do is just do your own research as well benefits of yam and see what you find but that's us our yam porridge is ready now let's go serving it Remember what we are, we kind of encourage what I call fine dining, African fine dining. So serving is one of the big areas that we are really keen on. Presentation. Okay, so here we are. This is our finished food. And now it's time to talk in. That's what they say. So what do we have here? This is the... Um, porridge yam or yam porridge without any grains so you saw how we cooked it oil is what actually gives it that color palm oil and then with all the herbs and spices and that's what gives it the taste then we created eggs to go with it remember we did say you have a choice of any protein of your fancy you could have made a, a sauce like a beef sauce or a fish sauce whatever sauce and eat with this yam porridge and we chose to go with the um, egg sauce reason being we, we were eating it as breakfast so for breakfast you don't need anything too heavy and then here we just added a bit of greens to it which you saw as we cooked it this is spinach you could have used any leaves um ugu leaves or pumpkin leaves that like we have back home um kale whatever whatever leaves take your fancy or water 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 leaf uh, bitter leaf 
so many leaves green leaf any leaf you like throw in there just to add a bit more uh, nutrients to your food and so that's the three things we're we're eating and what I've done here is I'm ready to eat and you know what we say here in Sun sunshine food is about you know fine dining for African food and you could go into a restaurant and have your food dished out like this and you pay top dollar for it you pay really good money because they've just fancified it and glamorized it and made it look beautiful I mean for me food and I, I love food when it's beautifully presented and that's what I'm trying to bring out with the sunshine foods look at that plate look at that portions you don't have to fill the whole place up with so much food for you to enjoy food so there it is I hope you love this video um, remember to give us a thumbs up if you love it uh, like us share it with your friends uh, follow up, follow us on all the other social media because sunshine food we have that on Instagram um, which we post a lot of interest in African foods and lots of people are really excited at our uh, selection and choice of foods um, you can follow me to Joy Fido on Facebook which is where most of my sunshine foods show up on Facebook so Instagram sunshine foods Facebook Joy Fido and of course here on our YouTube channel we throw out a lot of things and food is one of our favorite things so we hope to see you in the next video we're excited and remember I'm sure you notice the change of scenarios as well we're in Germany right now and we are bringing it to you we're on holiday so because we're on holiday we're just going to relax and cook all we would normally eat and video them for you to see so join us on this trip as we're, we're carrying on with various options of food african foods and we look forward to seeing you in the next video which will be coming before you know it <laughs>